In this Adobe Firefly tutorial, we'll be using January to recolor. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here then please subscribe to my channel which will keep me motivated in creating more helpful videos for you. You can also support me on Patreon. I'll put the links in the description. Alright, let's open the Firefly website and head over to Generate a Recolor. Now this works only with the vector files, so you'll have to upload your vector files in the SVD format or use any of the examples from here to see how it works. Let's open this one. And it's gonna give us 4 color versions. Here you can describe the mood for your color palette. Let's try soft pastels. And it's gonna generate new versions based on your prompt. If you hover your mouse over any image, you have some options here. Let me open it so you can see it better. Here you have the option to shuffle colors, which will provide similar variations. At the bottom you have the options to give feedback to Firefly. At the top right you can download the artwork in SVD format. Next you can copy this image and paste it into any software. But this will be pasted as an image file so keep that in mind. And you can also use this in Adobe Express. Now on the right side bar we have some more settings. At the top you can upload your own SVD file. Next you have some sample prompts that you can use. If I click on one, it's gonna update the prompt. Hit generate. And you can see the updated versions. Next you have the harmony tab which are basically different color harmonies. Complementary colors lie on the opposite side of the color wheel, offering high contrast. Analogous colors lie next to each other on the color wheel, which gives a more cohesive look. Triad colors are evenly spaced on the color wheel, producing a balanced and a colorful harmony. It also forms the shape of a triangle on the color wheel. In split complementary colors, one color is paired with the two next to its opposite, creating a vibrant look with less tension. In square harmony, four colors are equally spaced around the color wheel in the shape of a square, providing rich contrast and balance. Now which one you should choose totally depends on what you want to achieve. Alright next you have some color boxes. With this you can manually influence your desired colors in the color generation process and you can select more than one colors. Hit generate. And you can see the influence of these colors in the new generative versions. Lastly, you have the setting to preserve black and white colors. What it does is, if you have an artwork which contains the black and white colors along with the other colors and the setting is enabled, then it's not gonna affect that black and white colors. Let me show you actually. I have an artwork here which has a white background and a black outline in it. So I'll upload it. I'll change the prompt to this one. I'll clear the other styles and hit generate. As you can see the background is still white, eyes and the hands. The outline is still black, cause it's not affecting black and white colors yet. Same goes for these. Now let's turn off the setting and see what we get. And there we go. In this image, you can see that it has changed all the white color into the light sky blue color and the black color into a dark navy blue color. It has also affected the other versions. So this is a very helpful setting that you can turn on and off according to your needs. So that's the end of this video. In the next part we'll be creating templates using text prompt. You can find all the links in the description. If you have enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep on making more videos for you and provide you more solutions. If you have any questions or feedback for me let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.